Navigating the Waters, Understanding Mooring and Birthing. Hello, and welcome. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of maritime terminology, specifically focusing on mooring and birthing. These terms are crucial for anyone interested in boats, ships, or the maritime industry. So, whether you're an English language learner with a passion for sailing or simply curious about maritime terms, you're in the right place. Mooring refers to the process of securing a boat or ship to a fixed point to prevent it from drifting away due to wind or currents. This fixed point could be a buoy, a jetty, a pier, or even the seabed. The main idea behind mooring is stability. Ships and boats use ropes, chains, or anchors for mooring, ensuring they stay in one place despite the water's movement around them. This is particularly important in ports or harbors, where many vessels need to be securely positioned close to land but are not necessarily directly attached to it. Berthing, on the other hand, is the process of bringing a boat or ship to a designated space at a dock or quay for loading, unloading, boarding, or maintenance. Unlike mooring, berthing involves a direct connection to the land, usually within a port or marina. The term, berth, refers to the specific location where a vessel rests while docked. Berthing requires careful maneuvering and navigation to ensure that the vessel is aligned correctly and secured at its berth without causing damage to the vessel or the docking infrastructure. While both mooring and berthing are about securing a vessel, the key difference lies in their locations and purposes. Mooring is often done away from the shore in designated areas for vessels not needing immediate land access. Berthing is specifically for when a vessel needs to dock at a port or marina, usually for operational reasons like loading or maintenance. Another difference is in the physical connection to the land. Moored vessels might not have any direct land ties but are instead anchored to a point on the water. Berthed vessels are directly attached to the dock. We hope this explanation sheds light on the interesting aspects of mooring and berthing. Understanding these terms not only enriches your vocabulary but also brings you closer to the intricate world of maritime activities. Remember, language is a vessel that carries us through the seas of communication, and today, you've successfully navigated through some of its more specialized waters. Happy sailing, and see you in our next video.